expect us to start on Battlefield. These guys have played many times before. Is this best of three? Okay, I think this will be best of three, so I would expect Battlefield, and then we definitely won't get an FD game, and we probably won't get a Dreamland game. So so watch watch Inui here. He's not going to do anything ridiculous. He's, he's going to do the smart thing. He's going to take advantage of invincibility frames on that down smash from Sheik. He's going to play the Sheik game on the platforms. He knows the auto-cancel frames on Sheik's fair. Trice, uh, Trice crouch-canceling, knowing that Sheik has trouble with crouch-canceling with... Uh, I mean, Crouch Cancel by Space Animals. Ooh, Trice doesn't get the follow-up there. He definitely wanted to shine him across the stage there. Ooh, Inui definitely didn't want that forward smash. I would expect he wanted a grab, and that must have been a miss. Uh, Inui, smart from the ledge. You're not going to see him get gimped that often. Once again, he knows what he's doing. He pays attention to what he's doing on the ledge. Good needles there. Wow. Great play by Inui, reading the angle from Trice. All right, and Trice cannot read Inui's tech, but he still gets the up air. She has a lot of trouble recovering against Fox when Fox is playing well, but Inui manages it. So Inui is very comfortable telling Trice that he has to come to him. Inui has the lead after all. The, the Mewtwo King school of Sheik, right? Stay by the ledge because I have the lead. And, and Trice does hit the, uh, the wave dash and up smash this time. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Here's somebody's uh, review about your commentary. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, sorry about that. The uh, like I said, we, we see Inui taking advantage of the fact that wow, those those tech chases, those Amsa tech chases, old Amsa tech chases uh, with Sheik's uh, with Sheik's dash attack on Fox at these at these higher percentages. We see Inui waiting to follow up. Trice just shielding. You know Inui's going to start reading that soon. Smart player that he is, and he's going to start following up with grabs. So just watch for that as the match progresses. Tries for the spot dodge there. Doesn't work. Inui at this point is trying to keep Trice. Ooh, gets Trice reads the roll and Inui is not happy. Inui's trying to keep Trice on the side. He's trying to keep Trice on one of those side platforms and really take advantage of Sheik's long limbs and quick moves. That that down smash, that Sheik back air. All right, gets gets the easy Sheik combo. Let's let's be real. That that one's pretty simple. Uh, he's rolling straight out of 2002. Like, like I said, this is Inui is not going to do anything ridiculously technical, but he's going to do lots of really smart things. So, so please, please, new players, watch Inui's Sheik. This is this is how you get good at melee without having to spend hours and hours and hours grinding your tech skill. Smart, smart shield pressure there. Inui rolls out of it, gets in, down smash. Inui once again saying, "It's like you get up, gets his grab. He's going to go for the gimp here." Let's him get back on. Doesn't quite get the hit of back air he wants. The tip of Sheik's back air is the sweet spot there and has really good knockback. Uh, Inui was definitely looking for it there and did not quite get it. Inui gets the spot dodge there, gets the grab. Tech chases with the dash attack. Once again, he doesn't get the hit of... There he goes. He hasn't been getting the hit he wants, but Trice has a great angle to the ledge, makes it back. Inui with a good pressure. Once again, watch this pressure. That watch this pressure, guys. This isn't the sort of insane, you know, uh, you know, hitting frame perfect pressure points. You know, it's not crazy fox shine pressure. Excuse me, it's not West Ball's pressure. No, it's just reasonable, good positioning, smart cheek play, and it's a very close game. So, so Inui. The Sheik Jab, another terrific move in Sheik's arsenal. We see Inui trying to get in on Trice. Trice knowing the advantage that he has, taking advantage of it. Notice also uh, Inui rolls a lot, but he doesn't roll in such a way that he gets easily punished by it. Uh, he's not stupid. He's not a he's not a new player who always rolls the same direction, or always rolls in the same situations. He mixes it up, and when you mix it up, roll is an excellent option, especially for a defensive character like Sheik, or at least the way that uh, that Inui plays Sheik. And I don't think he wanted the forward smash there, but he got it, and we are even at one. All right. Uh, so we've got. John Money is stepping on. Uh, he's in. He's in losers finals. So this is this is a good scouting opportunity for him. He's seen both of these players play more than a few times. How are you doing? Good. Uh, I'm. I'm hoping just pers 
What? Oh. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm hoping a new one's. I feel more confident about that. Spacing matchups are a scary thing. Yeah, it seems like uh, it, Trice is just such a technical player, but yeah. but it's... <laughs> Trice is a... Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's Tr this is Trice's uh, to mess up, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Here. Okay. The uh, Inui, I, I was just saying that Inui is such a solid fundamental player yeah. who really does almost nothing special uh, technically. In fact, in some ways, he's kind of a throwback technically. Lots of rolls, yeah. lots of spot dodges. Yeah. Um, he, uh, he's got a solid just uh, read on the on the game and just doing the basics that that have paid off for, for him just continuing to continue continuing to do that so uh it's definitely a weird thing to fight a new sheik compared to other sheiks mm. his uh he doesn't he doesn't oh no a, oh that's that's i not think it was Trace. a good idea just man that was close a yeah. little tiny bit higher and he would have grabbed ledge yeah and it's really important for Trius not to go on tilt in this sort of situation yeah. because he is prone to that smart technical player that he is. He, he does. He is a passionate player and is definitely prone to exactly uh, getting angry and, and making mistakes he wouldn't normally make. Yeah, I mean he's beaten Anui before. I'm sure he expects himself to win, and that's that's a dangerous spot to be in when you expect yourself to win. Mm -hmm. You have to always take advantage. Yeah, because then you've got this pressure on you. It's he, he looks he looks good right now, but a player like Inui isn't gonna give you a win. Yeah. This like is gonna be a hard a hard win to earn because this is this is Inui's best stage for sure. It is best of three, so it's a best oh yeah, it's a best of three. It is a best of three. I wonder what the ban was. I I don't know, I would ex maybe Dreamland. He he probably doesn't feel comfortable winning that war of attrition yeah. against Inui based on how things were getting sloppy near the end of the first game. Maybe, maybe. I love uh I love Dreamland against Jake. Obviously, though, we, we actually mentioned this earlier. You're a uh, you're a very different fox, though, than Trice is. Trice yeah. Trice would very much like to rush you down, and uh, and beat you with with his his superior technical skill yeah. and his and his decision making. Whereas your fox is is very different and is very comfortable playing the game of yeah. of whoever you're playing against. You adapt very well. I I agree. Uh, I don't know about the adapting thing, but uh, what I like about Dreamland is that I can methodically edge guard. It doesn't feel like it's hard to kill Sheik on that stage. I've got the space to run around and find the positional advantage that I want. In the but, oh, go ahead. But maybe Trice just wants to get these early kills. He he does seem to feel really comfortable pressuring Inui, but Inui has been consistently getting out of the pressure with oh, very man. simple options. Wow. That was a that was a weird uh, uh, kind of a tech mix up, yeah. a tech trap that he got uh, with that with that weak hit back air. Mm. He's uh he's been missing that that uh, earlier earlier in the set. He, he's been wanting to get the strong hit back air. So I wonder if knowing that Trice knows that. So so Anui banned Pokemon. Trice goes final. Uh, Peach. Anui's second best character is Peach, and uh, he's been he doesn't he has a hard time against Fox on final. So he goes he tends to go Peach here. Um, is he? And and what what's the scouting report on his Peach? Uh, it. It's good. I haven't I haven't beat it yet. Actually, on final, um, it's been difficult for me. Uh, just Trice needs to. You can see it on his face. He's just not. He's still thinking in sheet terms, and now he's got to fight a, a Peach, which is a really good momentum change. Not only that, but when after just losing a set, that's a good. There's so many reasons why why Anui doing this is a good idea. As a fox, what's the speed difference like when you're playing a Peach versus a Sheik, and when you go oh no sheik oh to wow peach? wow. I'm, that was sick. Trice, Trice, like you said, yeah, he's much more confident in his technical skill. He goes, okay, now this should be death. Yeah, that's, uh, wow. The idea is there's a flow chart to kill Fox at every percent mm. from a grab. That's the idea. Oh, Trice dropping it a little bit, but that's okay. He, uh, putting Peach onto the uh, onto the ledge is, is a good idea. It's a good situation to be in. It seems like Inui feels extremely comfortable right now. Yeah. Pressuring, pressuring Trice at a yeah. certain space, yeah. knowing that he has the down smash to sort of back him up just in case something gets bad. Yeah. Trice is uh, Trice is being aggressive, which uh, which Inui appreciates right now. Right. And uh, Trice is making mistakes, so Inui doesn't really just has to play a solid Peach game, and that's exactly what he, that's exactly wow. where he wants to be. That was crazy. A um, fundamental player so, like Inui uh, is. Yeah. is more than prepared what to I'd be do doing right now is just trying player. to get as many lasers in before I die. <laughs> the uh, 
It, it seems like Trice just really wants to figure out what Inui is doing in the neutral. And and it it seems kind of straightforward. He's putting out big hitboxes where he thinks yeah. Trice is going to be, and Trice is playing into it. I just got a little distracted because I thought I heard on fire in the background. <laughs> I was just like trying to look around. I, I really hope But not. people are laughing about it, so I think... Okay, uh, right. We're, we're probably okay. We're probably okay. okay. Maybe it's a really sick joke. It's that uh, that's that purposely misspacing that that first fair seemed to really throw oh, wow, Trice missed off it. there. That's okay. Wow. Uh, yep, he reads that he's going to go on stage. It's Peach's float cancel is such a valuable tool yeah. in this matchup. You can you can get away with doing so much. Go straight. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just it's going to ledge as soon as possible with that illusion. The okay. Oh, there there was a three up smash, but I, I think Trice hesitated because he realized it wouldn't kill. He's uh, he's missed that opportunity oh, no. a few that times. Be it, yeah. He doesn't seem comfortable in his ability to snipe the Peach or the Sheik coming down. And so it seems like he doesn't want yeah. want to deal with it. I think I think we're going to hear a lot, of, a lot of anger and a lot of uh, talking about Peach here in a second. He's, uh, <laughs> I think it's, he's already pretty frustrated. But do you think it's too be, late for him to... No, no, absolutely not. Okay, he's, never mind, I might be wrong. Just multi-shine like eight times in a row. <laughs> oh no, and then miss the drill. Oh. Do you he think does, it, the, does the hard stuff, drops the easy stuff. Oh, oh, yeah, he's not going to be happy with that. Yeah, Inui looks completely nonplussed, as if he expected that. And now, now we have you. That's hard.